I'm Dr. Stacey Cottle. I'm a hospitalist here at King's Daughters Medical Center and also chair our COVID task force. First of all, I want to ensure that at KDMC, we have a, a commitment to safety for all of our patients and all of our team members. We want you to know that you are safe at our facilities. Since the beginning, we've been very fortunate to obtain personal protective equipment. We've worked very hard to educate our staff on how to properly put on this personal protective equipment. We also implemented universal masking for all of our team members, um, as well as eye protection. Although we did have some team members and providers that tested positive, this was not felt to be patient related. In addition to personal protective equipment, we have worked very hard to keep our patients safe. We have implemented a visitor policy that includes universal masking for anyone coming into the hospital and tried to limit these hours. When you arrive to our medical center, we also test all team members, all patients, all visitors with temperature checks and screenings for their risk for COVID-19. We have been very fortunate here at KDMC to have all in-house COVID-19 testing. Anyone who gets admitted to our hospital who has a procedure or a surgery is tested for COVID-19. This allows us to keep separate units for COVID-19 patients versus other hospitalized patients. These COVID units are completely separate with completely separate nursing staff and doctors. Many people are under the impression that this is just nursing home spread. In fact, the majority of patients within our COVID unit are from home. That does in fact say that there is a larger community spread. Please try to be safe, be kind to others, and follow appropriate guidelines. Getting tested is very easy. It requires a simple throat swab. We currently have seven locations where you can get tested. We will help you get set up with my chart and you can get your results within 12 to 14 hours. If you have an abnormal result, you will be called by our medical center. While we've talked a lot about our COVID patients, they do not make up the majority of our patient population. We continue to see a large variety of patients requiring hospitalization at King's Daughters. We have worked very hard to secure extra staff and extra equipment to expand our emergency department and inpatient hospital beds. We have also prioritized safety in our outpatient offices and urgent care centers. We are leveraging telehealth. We continue to do social distancing in our waiting rooms and are doing frequent zone cleanings. It is very important not to delay routine health care and follow-up appointments. Prior to canceling your appointment, please have a discussion with your health care provider. It is also vitally important to not ignore emergency red flag symptoms such as chest pain, stroke symptoms, shortness of breath, loss of consciousness, as this could result in catastrophic health outcomes. I am on the front lines of this. It can be very heartbreaking but it can also be very rewarding when you see these patients get better. I've grown up here all of my life. My parents live here. My grandmother currently lives here in a nursing home, and I have a six-year-old little girl. Please continue to socially distance. Please continue to wear your mask, and please try to keep everyone safe. We can get through this together.